Hello, and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep, and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And I caught wind of this, uh, Disney resetting Star Wars. I haven't read anything about it yet, uh, mainly because whatever reactions I have, I want them to be genuine. And normally I... I'm trying to get away from doing Star Wars type of stuff because a lot of other channels are already doing that. But when I caught wind of this, I wanted to read and see exactly what they're talking about because I love Star Wars. I love the original trilogy. I like the prequels. They go together. They go together. It, it's... The six movies go together. They don't need anything else. Um, uh, I love the uh, expanded universe. Not the Disney version. What they now call uh, Legends. Which will never to me be Legends. It will always be the expanded universe. Um, that means the Thrawn trilogy. I loved the Thrawn trilogy. That to me was episodes seven eight and nine because they when i was reading them it felt like a movie you know when they do the fades from one scene to another that signature fade that they always do when I, when i when it was changing scenes in the book i could visually see that fade it just felt right and what we got from disney no I'm sorry, it just doesn't work for me, but I wanted to take a look at this and just give me your honest, give you my honest opinions. I would like your honest opinions too um, on what you think about this. I'm pretty sure I know what you guys are going to say, but still, you know, I, I want you guys to Ramble along with me. I, I like the I like the interactions, so don't be afraid to leave comments. So Disney resetting Star Wars. Zillow rhymes with pillow. And I don't know what to think about this Mandalorian. If it was Boba Fett, okay, but I don't know. Following the poor performance and reception of Star Wars The Last Jedi, as well as Han Solo, it wasn't called Han Solo, it was called Solo, Disney has placed the movie franchise on hold, and now it is said they are resetting Star Wars and giving fans time to heal. Okay, we're right off the bat. I don't think they're talking about resetting the whole Star Wars legacy. I could be wrong. Um... Let me give you my feelings on Star Wars The Last Jedi and Solo. Um, when I first saw Star Wars The Last Jedi, I was kind of amazed. But it didn't sink in right away. It was kind of like going on a roller coaster. You know, it was fun. It was exciting. But things don't sink in until later, until you realize, no, wait. No, I didn't like that. This could have been done better. Why the heck did this happen? It was one of those things. Um, and then I watched Star Wars The Last Jedi a second time when it went to Netflix. And I enjoyed it a little bit more. But when all this garbage was coming out from Ryan Johnson when he was attacking the fans, that just killed it for me. It, it just it completely killed it for me because whatever credibility he had at least with me as a filmmaker um, and I've taken uh, classes uh, film classes before now I'm not a professional filmmaker but I love making videos as you probably already noticed with my channel so I can I can relate I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt I, I tried, you know, I really tried. But with all that backlash against fans, sorry, it that just killed it for me. Um, 
and with the force awakens which didn't feel very original at all my whole thing was if the last jedi was good then i would be okay with the force awakens because it would lead into it but now the last jedi just being not so great force awakens leads into it what's the point anymore you know why watch the beginning of a trilogy if the middle part sucks because then that's just going to lead into who knows you can't go from part one to part three i don't know maybe you can maybe jj abrams will surprise us i i don't know i i'm at a point i don't care about episode nine i don't want to i saw seven and eight i went to imax and saw it in 3d because that's how special star wars is to me and i did not do that this time or i'm sorry <laughs> this time it's like what what do you mean this time well okay there was solo but i did not go see that in the regular theater i waited for the dollar theater but i'll get to that but as far as episode nine no no they're not going to get my money i'm i'll i'll see it but i will wait for the dollar theater because if i'm paying two bucks well disney's not going to get a whole lot out of that and if they get if they take a dollar fifty <laughs> or the two dollars that's fine you know um that's you know just toss two dollars on the street you know it that's no big deal to me but you know if i'm not sitting there paying 15 bucks for it or or more i don't know i just i started to think i was ripped off now solo solo i liked solo surprised me i know i know a lot of a, a lot of a lot of people out there are like solo um you know and it was all you know social justice warrior and you know that's what people have been saying about it i saw that at the dollar theater because i didn't want to pay full price and i felt i got my money's worth honestly i actually enjoyed it it my opinion it felt like a star wars movie now i have a video about solo also uh where i reviewed it and i'll put a link to it at the end of this video so you can watch that if you'd like because uh, i'm not going to go into all the details um on this one when i've already done it um, basically it felt like star wars it was fun did it play it safe yeah yeah it kind of played it safe but you know, that's all right you know it it was still fun. It was still enjoyable. I really didn't see it as a social justice warrior movie, SJW or um, NPC. <laughs> That's that still cracks me up. Um, I almost saw it as a mockery to it, if anything. Like the original filmmakers, like they're aware of it, and they're just kind of mocking it. I kind of got that vibe from it. Um, but anyway, let's continue here. So the news comes as a result of it learned, uh, comes as a result of it learned that Disney, that just, ugh, that sentence doesn't really flow very well. Learned that Disney has now canceled Lego Star Wars Day, the popular, well that, people like Lego Star Wars. Why would you cancel? That was dumb. The popular annual event held during the spring at Legoland, California. Well, hey, what a way to piss off your fans! They're they're boy, they're on a roll, aren't they? When it comes to uh, when it comes to Legos, when it comes to Star Wars, no, they sit there and piss on Lego Star Wars Day. I've never been to it. I think it would be cool to go to it. I've never been to Legoland, California. I love Legos. The Star Wars fan site Rebel Scum. Or Disney offers that Lucasfilm stated 2018 would be the last year they do Lego Star Wars Day. Are you serious? I'm speechless. I am really speechless because Star Wars has been a big thing with Lego. And they're getting up. 
that's not re man that is that's a middle finger to the fans N not just star wars fans but lego fans okay that's oh man now i don't even want to read the rest of this article in addition, the site reports an unnamed source at Disney has suggested that the motivation way was to refocus expenditure and limit Star Wars exposure to reset the franchise and allow fans to heal. No, I don't think that what they're doing is they're rubbing salt in the wounds. That's what I think. The Lego fan site, The Brick Fan, further offers that a reason Disney also canceled Lego Star Wars Day is a shift focused to the Lego Movie 2. I believe that. I don't know. Does the Lego Movie have anything to do with Star Wars? There we go. <laughs> Lego Movie. Because I got the little... I, I had to get this because it had the... Uh, the Lego figure of Gandalf. Um, this is the 3D uh, version. And... Is this done by Disney? That's what I mean. It's... it's it, if Disney is trying to focus... I don't... I didn't think that they had anything to do with this. No, it's Warner Brothers. Warner, I don't think... No, Warner Brothers and Disney aren't uh, part of the same company. I don't think. Alright, so... I don't know. I'm a little confused about that. Maybe you guys can clear that up for me. It also said, while there could be a chance for LEGO Star Wars Day to return at some point in the future, that in its current form, it's done for. Well, that scares me. If they bring... Whenever people... The suits, which piss me off. Whenever they cancel something and bring it back, it's never as good as it was. News of Disney canceling Lego Star Wars Day and potentially resetting the franchise doesn't come as that much of a surprise, which is due to the huge failure of Kathleen Kennedy and Ryan Johnson's The Last Jedi. In the wake of Last Jedi's failure, which subsequently saw the Han Solo movie as worst... Why don't you just say Solo? Worst performing Star Wars movie ever. I think it got more flack than what it, what it deserved. If there, if there had been more time in between the two movies i think solo would have done better but i think people were just so pissed off with last jedi you know the blinds were on and they didn't want anything to do with solo so i think star i think uh solo got a bad got an unfair bad rap uh, Disney CEO Bob Iger and Star Wars movies will be slowed down. Well, we already know that. And it is also known a new movie or franchise thought to be from Ryan Johnson has been placed on the back burner. Well, hopefully if it's uh, back burner, hopefully that means it's just been plain burned or canceled. I prefer burned. <laughs> While the films are on hold, Disney is now focusing on the Star Wars TV shows for their upkinning what happened to the whole reset and giving it a rest hmm sounds like a contradiction doesn't it they're still having a mandalorian they have the new clone wars they have the rebel not rebels was it Resistance? That that other one. And then they've got the Star Wars Adventures. This is that's not giving Star Wars a rest, you guys. Uh so Star Wars Episode 9 gets released in December. 
with no new films. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Anyway. Well, that's the that's the article. This is from Cosmic Book News. So I will source this um, in the description um, of the video. And that way you guys can check it out on your own. Uh, if you do a Google search, there are other um, there's other articles about this. Um, I don't know if they all say the same thing. Uh, here's mirror.co.uk. Uh, there's we go or we got this covered.com. Uh, stupid thing about cookies. The only cookies I like are the ones you eat. Yeah, this is all kind of... These are all different. They're not all the same. It's pretty much the same idea, but the, the wording is not the same. The Last Jedi tempts TV spot. Well, let's not tempt ourselves to throw up. Um, no, I don't want freaking news. Go away. Yeah, this kind of says the same thing as the last site, but... Alright. Um, anyway, <laughs> we'll just... We'll have this here. <laughs> I like the coloring. I like the poster. It, it's I, I like the, the red and white theme that goes on to it. It looks like a great poster. It's cool. Although I don't, I don't like Ray being in center. I liked it better when Luke was on uh, in the middle. Because it should have the two... Well, I guess they sort of are um, good and dark, but I don't know. A whole nother story. But anyway... Um, let me know what you think um, about this whole thing. Uh, I'm interested, and uh, let's get talking about it. I'm, you know, I'm really curious of, you know, what you think about the whole thing. Uh, other than that, uh, thanks for tuning in, and I will see you on the next rambling video. Did that seem like a lot of rambling to you? Well, I'm not sure what you expected from a show that has rambling in the name, but that's okay. I do have other videos, some of which I don't ramble as much. I make new videos all the time on a variety of different subjects, so click subscribe to get notified when they're uploaded. Thanks for hanging with me, and I'll see you again soon.